Okay, our final problem for this session, Princess of Tennis. To warm up for a match, a tennis player hits the 57 gram ball vertically upward with her racket. If the ball is stationary before it hits hit and it goes 5.50 meters high, what impulse did she impart to it? So uh, I'll just solve this problem because, uh, well, time, our time is already limited. So, okay. Okay, again, so you have a tennis player that is um, hitting uh, a 57 gram um, ball. So this is... Uh, 57.0 grams, and in kilograms, it's about 0 0.057 um, kilograms. Okay? Wala pang isang buhit. If the ball is stationary before it hits, and it goes 5.50 meters high, so let's say our displacement y minus y naught is 5.50 meters. So what impulse is she imparted? The question now is what, what is j? What is j? Now, ganito. Okay, may dalawang nangyari. So um, two things happen in this problem. So first, the first thing that happened is that the ball was hit by the racket. And the second one is that the, rack, the ball reached 5.50 meters high. This is the maximum height. Tama? Diba? Basically, nag-reach ka ng maximum height. Now the question is, what is the speed of the of the of the of the ball initially before it, it travels upward? So the question now is, what is kasi ano yare? At rest yung bola, tinamaan ng sure si tennis player tatamaan niya yon. For therefore the the tennis play, player imparts, uh, or in that case, the tennis racket imparts a force on that ball, making this ball um, change its velocity. Yun na kayo, baka may tanong ka siguro kayo dito, no? usually. Uh, may tanong na ganito eh. And sir, um, di ba sa projectile nung siya, nang sinasabi lagi, the only force acting on the object is gravity. And sir, paano nagkaroon ng initial velocity yung bola? Di ba? I hope, uh, dito na, dito na kiniklear yun. Na yung initial velocity ng bola, it's imparted by some force. But that force only acts at a certain very small time interval. Dapat may yung time interval na yan. So therefore, if the ball is already in air, hindi na nag yung force na yun. Di mo naman na kasi hinahawakan yung kamot. Or di mo naman na uh, pinapalo ng, ng tennis racket yung ball kapag nasa air na siya, di ba? It will only interact with the ball imparting it with some initial velocity. That's the point of this problem. Para ma-reconcile natin yung yung medyo medyo weird na tanong noon. Eh di ba may in-apply ka pa ring force diyan? May in-apply ka ng force pero sobrang iksi ng force na yon so that at the time na nasa air na yung bola, wala ka ng force na hindi. Okay? I hope this that clears up some um questions in your mind. Kasi ba may tanong kayo about that? Di ba? So yon. Um so the first one the let's start with this um going back to our problem. Let's start with the second speed or the second condition. We know that it has some final height, um, 5.50 meters. Therefore, one can use Ber kinetic energy theorem or conservation of energy in this problem. Okay. Okay. Again, one can use conservation of um, energy or Ber kinetic energy theorem in the first problem. Of course, you can also use our kinematic equations. Pero LE2 to, so ayaw kong munang gumamit ng kinematic equations. So, sawa muna kay sa LE1 yan. Diba? So, um, what happens is I will use Ber kinetic energy so use in state two, uh, in one to two, use work equals change in kinetic energy or your work kinetic energy theorem. So this is work is simply one half m v two squared minus v one squared, which is equal to what? The, the only force that does work on the on on the ball as it at nung time na umaakyat na siya sa paakyat is the work done by gravity which is correct so this is just negative mg times y minus y na diba so of course the masses will cancel the final velocity is the velocity at the top therefore v2 there should be zero so zero na ito and hence um, this means that v1 is simply square root of twice of the acceleration due to gravity times y minus y not. We already know our y equals y not is 5.50 meters. And hence, therefore, the um, the initial velocity one can show 
that the initial velocity or the velocity imparted by the tennis rocket is V1 is 10.4 meters per second. This is also the velocity imparted by the rocket. Okay, so that's our velocity uh, that we want. And yung velocity na imparted ng rocket, anong nung rocket dun sa um, sa ball. Okay, now the question now is what is therefore the impulse? So, What is the impulse delivered by the rocket? Now, initially, sabi sa situation, initially, before uh, the rocket um, uh, uh, gives a force on the, but before the rocket hits the ball, uh, it is at rest. So therefore, the initial velocity of the ball, let's say V0 is the initial velocity of the ball um, at state one. This is zero. Therefore, uh, the impulse now is just J equals change in momentum. Again, iba yung V2 dito. So this is simply M times V1 minus V0. But again, V0 is 0, so this is 0. And therefore, this is just the momentum of the part of the ball after it is hit by the rocket. And therefore, this is simply, um, ano rin yung mass? The mass of the ball is um, 0 0.057 kilograms. This is 0 0.057 kilograms multiplied by 10.4 meters per second. And the answer to that, please verify, J is about 0.592 Newton seconds. That is the answer. Okay? Is this clear? Clear ba to? Is this clear? Questions? May tanong ba? Okay. Sige. Um, walang tanong, okay. 